hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very well um if you're new here um i hope you do enjoy what i have to offer today today it's gonna be all about shebe powder i think that's how you say it it's just been all over the internet and i thought i'd give it a try um as i love rice water I thought, hey, let's try Shebe powder as well. <laughs> Why not give my, myself a bit of a break? And I know a lot of you haven't been able to join me on the rice water challenge because um, it's made your hair hard, uh, the smell is quite foul. So I thought I'll bring you this recipe um, in hopes that some of you might like it and it will be beneficial to you. So I am gonna put some of the benefits on the screen, but just in a nutshell, Cheve is great for moisturizing and conditioning the hair. It also strengthens the hair and helps lock in the moisture so that your hair is moisturized for longer. It also improves the density of fine hair. Like I have fine hair, um, so if something's gonna give me dense hair and let my hair appear thicker, why not so i thought i'll give that a try and it's all because it's all natural it also helps to nourish your follicles so yeah why not so i found this recipe from discovering naturals i believe that's her name um on youtube over here she literally just put shebe into hot water and infused that but i'm also going to add aloe vera powder as we already know aloe vera is packed with so much goodness for our hair i'm just going to throw a couple of the benefits on the screen now um, i'm sure you already know about that so i will not bore you so all you're going to need is some hot water so i boiled it on the stove and i've just poured it into this container which i'm going to be infusing the shebe and aloe vera powder in so get yourself a container this is literally um, a glass container that i used to have jam in and jam finished i washed it and i'm using it you know just recycling stuff you don't have to go out and buy things every time <laughs> and i'm gonna again <laughs> recycle this wig cap it's a new one it's a brand new one because it serves as a stocking cap or cheesecloth or whatever you want to call it so i pretty much just took one of them and I'm playing around with it just showing you how it is <laughs> and, and all I'm doing really is making an opening so so that it gets all the way to the bottom and I'm using I'm going to be using two teaspoons of the Shebe powder um, and two teaspoons of the aloe vera powder you can always tweak it to your preference but I thought I will start with this and then depending on how my hair um, reacts to it this week, I can either reduce or add a bit more to it. But I think this should be fine because I believe Discovering Naturals use one tablespoon. So yeah. So once I've done that, all I do is I tie a knot and yeah, just like that, just a simple knot. Or you could use a string, that's what Discovering Naturals did. And here's my hot water and I'm just placing it in, swirling it around, um, dunking it so that it can release all the nutrients into the water. And that's pretty much all I'm doing. I end up pressing it in off camera. Um, as you can see, the color of the water is changing. That's all the goodness just going into the water. And then I leave that to sit for, I believe I left it to sit for two days. Um, yeah, but you can do what, whatever works for you. After two days, there's absolutely no smell whatsoever. Um, so I think two days is fine. So here I am just showing you how it looks after two days. I still have the stocking cap in there, but I ended up taking out the stocking cap and squeezing out all the juice into the container. And I'm just showing you here the leave-in condition I'm going to be using and a sealant. I pretty much just use sheer moisture leave-in and Jamaican Haitian black castor oil and this um, whipped shea butter from Fusion of Cultures. And I'm just showing you the spray bottle. So I've poured it all in there. And I start off by just giving myself a bit of a massage. 
using the palms of my hands just to warm up my scalp a bit and get it ready to receive all the nutrients because I'm low porosity, um, I've got low porosity hair so I like to just get my scalp nice and warm so it's ready to absorb all the nutrients. <laughs> I mean, if you have high porosity, I think you can just go ahead and spray it directly in there. Um, this is my first time using the spritz, but it worked perfectly fine for me. So all I'm doing is literally just spraying all over. I am very generous because I want my hair to grow, <laughs> um, but obviously not soaking wet, literally enough to you know just make it feel a little bit damp so that you feel that every single crevice has a bit of the goodness so yeah that's pretty much all I'm doing here just spraying it onto my scalp and I will end up also spraying it on the actual on my actual hair the length of my hair and on my ends because there's no point growing your hair if you're not going to take care of your ends they are the oldest part of the hair and we need to keep it nice and moisturized so it does not break it, it so it doesn't break off essentially So there I am again with the ends, just coating it. And squeezing it into my hair. I want it to really get into my hair, so. <laughs> So yeah, feel free to use any cream, any leave-in or styler that you want. I'm not going to be taking these twists out, so I really don't really care. Um, I didn't really care what I used, and this is what I had on hand. I love it. So it's just my Sheer Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In. So I just use that all over my hair and on my ends. And massage it into my hair, locking all that moisture from the Shebe spritz, Shebe and aloe vera spritz. And then I follow up with my um, Wild Seed Botanicals Whip Shear Butter by the lovely Fusion of Cultures. This stuff is so, uh, so velvety. Um, I love it. I literally, I'm just generous. I put it all over my hair and um, my ends as well. And all I'm doing here is just using my Haitian black castor oil. Um, I'm just going to be putting that all over my scalp and my edges, just trying to get it to grow. I really love this actually. My friend told me about it and I got it off um, Shea Butter Cottage. And I think it's doing a good job so far. <laughs> so I pretty much just put it all over, focus it on my edges and on my scalp. It is very thick, like very, very thick. I think eventually I might mix it with some some other oils but for now I just want to use it on its own to see if I'm gonna see any difference um, in my edges and obviously I have to use my massager just to top it all off because it's just so relaxing so that's pretty much it guys I hope you do try it I will be back after a week um, to let you know if I like it or how I like it I'm not going to be showing you if my hair grew or not 
because I don't want the focus to be there. I just want to share this with other people. So yeah, thanks for watching.